Okay, so new project. We've got a few dragons coming up, two of which happen to be red. We have a young and we have a gargantuan. Now the color schemes are going to be very similar, if not the same, but uh, their structures are very different, so they are going to uh, look very different. These are both kin to the ancient red dragon that's up here above my head, which I didn't paint, by the way. Um, but we are going to start with this guy. So the Young Red Dragon is the WizKids uh, D&D series Nolzer's, from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. And like I said, he is the Young Red Dragon. Still quite large and very difficult to defeat if you run into him in the campaign. Uh, as usual, we are using the Army Painter Dungeons and Dragons official paint line. The, the, two, um, the two that I use are the Adventurer's Paint Set and the Monster's Paint Set. And we have a wet palette, variety of brushes, water, sponge, and paper towels are the basic uh, components that you'll need for this. Uh, the colors that we are going to use that um, I'm going to start out with include Dragonfire Red, Candy Crimson, Cobalt Red, Kieran Gold, uh, Mithril Silver, Angelic Yellow, Fire Newt Orange, Dungeon Stone, Waffle White, Abyssal Black, and Shadow Wash. Right, so, uh, here is um, a picture of a young red dragon. As you can see, uh, his belly is lighter. He's got some uh, darker reds in there. Uh, the lighter reds to where the sun shines through the membranes of the wings. Um, so we will do a lighter red on the membranes. Uh, probably cobalt on the um, on the wing structure and yellows on his belly and some more cobalt on some of the other uh, areas of his body. Okay, to start us off, we're going to do a uh, Dragonfire Red over his entire body. Um, we want to be sure to get the membranes. Um, if we don't get as much in some of these other spots, it's not a big deal. Don't forget, you also want to do a one-to-one, -one, one drop of the paint to one drop of water to start you off. Okay, as you can see, I did leave his belly area mostly clear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to use angelic yellow from his throat to the tip of his tail on the belly section. Okay, so I'm going to go back over that yellow. Like I said, it is a little bit on the bright side. And I'm going to go ahead and um, cover it in foam to see if I can dampen down some of that brightness. Okay, so as you can see, it's still quite messy. Uh, We'll be cleaning them up as we go along, but next up we're going to be adding the cobalt red to the wings.
Okay, so this next bit is going to be uh, cleaning him up, um, adding some depth, blending some of these colors in, and uh, getting some of that um, orange and yellow into his mouth with the Rust Monster and the Fire Newt Orange. Um, probably going to switch instead of using regular shadow wash, going to use a brown shadow wash, um, and then dry brushing against the grain. So when I use the um, cobalt red, I'm going to be doing a dry brush where I tap off as much of the paint as possible while still leaving some and then I'm going to brush against the scale so that it will uh, pick up more of that darker red. So cleaning him up for the next little bit. Okay, I feel pretty good about the way he looks right now, so I'm going to set him aside and go ahead and complete the base, which is just going to have a little bit of dungeon stone um, and some uh, black and some white to add some depth, maybe some shadow. Okay, so here he is. I'm pretty happy with him. Now, with this guy, I listed a lot more colors than we actually used, but over planning is better than under planning, I suppose. And as usual, I will be sure to 
go ahead and seal the paint with, um, with the dragons I tend to use a gloss finish because I always th think that dragon should be shiny. <laughs> 